Yo, what is going on guys, Bobby here, and today we have a super dope video for you guys. We just hopped into a room with Kenneth and with Cute Girl, who I've never played with before, and we're just going to be playing a little bit. So, Piper is amazing on this map. I believe this is one of the best maps in the game where you can 1v3 with a single brawler. So what we're going to be doing is playing 5 or 6 games just to show you guys the strength of Piper and exactly how to play Piper on this map. Now let me talk to you a little bit about the Brawl Ball video. I'm super excited to be making it. I've spent 3 hours already on just preparing and getting all the correct information, starting to record and we haven't even got a dent into the video. I wanted it out today but unfortunately it's just a ton of preparation. I couldn't get it done today so hopefully we'll have it done by tomorrow if not tomorrow latest in two days so that would be Thursday so anyways I hope you guys can wait that long because it is going to be a pretty good video but this one is also gonna be an amazing one because we're gonna show you guys exactly how to dominate in 1v3 with Piper here so with that being said let's hop into the games and let's show you guys what to do okay so here we go into the first game we're going to be playing a tick an 8-bit and a mortis so it's actually pretty pretty big counters to Piper so hopefully we have a fairly OP time here. This is going to be a little bit challenging, which I actually do like. We can show you guys exactly how strong Piper is here. So we're going to be taking our time. Our lanes died very, very fast, but that shouldn't be too much of an issue here. We're able to get one kill over there. Going to be able to hit that 8-bit, and I think our goals for this game is just going to be to break the walls open. They put ourselves into a terrible position there, but that's fine. I uh, just wanted to go a little bit aggro over there. We're going to be able to get that comeback once we try and get the team wipes going. So this is ours. We're going to sneak up. Hopefully they have no clue where we are, which is, I think, the current situation. Going to be able to get that two-tap over there, and we're just going to try and break some walls. So there's a Mortis hiding over there. We're hopefully able to get the kill. Okay, we are able to get the kill. The 8-bit's coming up very strong. We're able to two-tap that Brawler, but it does have its extra life. So we're going to be over here. We're going to see the Sandy Super being used. We're going to be able to get that shot off over there. Going to be able to get that triple tap. We do have the gems. And let's pick up this last one over here. They are probably somewhere in the middle. We don't want to let them push up on us. So we're going to go for a two tap. Unable to get it. But at least we're able to tap the tick once. Which caused it to go back. Oh, we almost got that second snipe as well. You guys can see my teammates are going aggro. Making sure that they're not able to push on us. We're going to be able to get that kill over there. And that is going to end the game. So by no means over there did we 3v1. Our teammates played amazing. They even got star players. So huge congrats to them for that one. But let's hop into the next game. Hopefully we get a more competitive game with a more like simple comp. I mean, comp shouldn't really determine it, but definitely we did get countered there. So hopefully we get a comp that we don't necessarily get countered by. We can show you guys the true Piper skill on this comp. Let's run it and let's see what we can get in game two. Okay, so here we go into the next game. And we're going to be going against a Sandy, a Jesse, and a Dynamite. So definitely a better comp against us. Although we don't really counter anything here. We don't get hard countered. So that is definitely better. We're going to miss our first couple shots over there. We're going to be able to hit our third. Went for a cheeky shot over there. But we weren't able to hit it. Going to be able to take out that Sandy though over there. Uh, the Jesse should be a fairly easy kill. I'm going to juke a couple shots. Be able to pick up that kill. And I think we're just going to break this wall over here. Oh, that was terrible RNG. Wow, that, that was not very OP. Did not break any walls. Can't Unfortunately, you can't control your bombs with Piper. I wish you were able to do so, to be honest. Going to take that out really quickly. Going to be able to get that kill over there. Going to get a couple more taps. And again, we're just chilling in our area over here. We do have our jump, so we can just chill up here. That is fine. They went for an assassin play, an assassination play, but they weren't able to get it. They're going to be able to pick up that kill, though. A little bit too aggressive by me. Uh, that is going to be an easy kill over there for our Sandy, though. I'm going to get a tap on this over here. This Dynamite has no clue we're over here, so we're going to get two taps on it. Oh, we're dangerously low, so we're going to have to jump out over there. Going to be able to get a tap on that Jesse. And hopefully we can just get this last um, gem over here. So we're one shot. We're going to have to go back, but we're just going to chill over here and try and get a kill before we fully go back. Oh, good play over there by the Sandy. I suspect it to be somewhere on this left side. Maybe in the middle, I'm not sure, but this is looking pretty dangerous for us, to be honest. Oh, we're going to go down, but that should be fine. Really nothing we can do about it over there. Kenneth is going to pick up all the gems, so we should be fine. We could just chill up here and try and get some kills. We're able to get one over there on the Dyna. Let's try and get another one. Going to get another one over there on the Jesse. Going to use our jump, jump back over there. Going for the triple, and we're able to get it on that... Um, 
Sandy over there. So that was a really good game for us. Again, we weren't just hard carrying. Again, Kenneth got the star player, so Kenneth is just carrying out here. But we definitely played really, really well that game. So let's hop into the third game. Hopefully we're able to do the same thing. Let's hop into it and let's see what happens. So here we go into the next game. And we're facing a Pam, a Mortis, and a Tick, I believe the comp was. So that's going to be a very interesting comp to face, yeah. We get countered by two of them, but we do counter a Pam, so that's pretty OP. Uh, we're able to help out with the original kill on that Mortis. We're going to be able to push up over here and collect some gems. Oh, how did we miss that? We definitely shouldn't have missed that, but we're going to be able to hit that shot over there. Going to sneak a little bit close to this Mortis. Actually, we can't because of the train. Oh, we almost... Oh my god, Tick is so good. It's such an annoying brawler. I hate it so much. You guys never see me play Tick because it's just so annoying. It's such a low skill cap. You just spam shots everywhere. I absolutely hate it. I wish it was taken out of the game, but that is just my opinion. I'm sure some of you guys really like the brawler. So we're down 6 nothing here. It's not looking very good to say the least. Uh, we're going to be trying to tap the pan, but unfortunately its turret is in the way, so we can't do anything. We're going to be able to get that Sandy Sneak over there, so we're going to be able to get the Pam. Uh, we're going to get this. Kenneth might go down. He is going to go down, but that should be fine. We have no clue where the Tick Head is. I'm pretty sure the Tick Head was launched. I'm not sure. Oh, there it is. He put it right in his spawn, which is actually a really good placement because we had no clue where it was. We are able to pick up the kill over there. We're just going to sneak up over here, and I think we were able to hit it. Yeah, we're just going to take this out really quickly. Don't want any additional healing by that Pam or for that Pam. Kenneth is going to sneak up, be able to take out the tick, which is really massive for us. He's going to try and run away. This Pam has no clue we're here. We're going to get into an auto aim distance, be able to triple tap it over there. Obviously really OP. So we only need two more gems now to win the game. We're just going to chill in the mid over here. The Pam is going to move up. So we're going to start taking some shots towards it. We're able to hit one but not the second, which is really important. This Mortis in our spawn is obviously causing us a lot of issues. We're definitely gonna have to try and take that out. I literally have seven health, so this is not looking very good. I'm gonna go down over there, but we should be fine. Oh no, we're gonna have to get a snipe on this Mortis and this Pam definitely overcommitted because we're able to three tap him. Kenneth is gonna get the final tap and I'm pretty sure that is going to give us the game. We can't go back. So we have 10 right now, so it's definitely not a win. We have to stay in the mid. Okay, we have 11, so I need a cup to get two more. We're just going to jump up. They know they're coming near us. Uh, we're going to be able to get that kill, but they are going to be able to tie up the game. So this is definitely an extremely, extremely intense game so far. Let's try our best to kill this Mortis. Okay, step one complete. We were able to kill the Mortis. Now we can go a lot more aggro over here. They still need to get another uh, gem. They didn't know that. Oh, we almost dropped ourselves. Okay, we're able to stay alive. So currently, tie game. Still super, super close. We're going to go and try and two-tap this Pam. We're going to be able to hit the shot over there. Their tick is going to have to go back and try and collect. We're going to try and hit that shot on the Mortis. Wasn't able to do so. I think they're going to be able to tie the game. 13-13. They're able to get the 14th uh, gem. Which is really good. Oh, but we're able to get two kills over there. Gonna go over here. Going to jump away. And that is all the gems that we're going to need to win this game. So we're just going to chill over here. Get a couple shots off so they're not able to just push us as much as they want. Kenneth is going to be spinning. Amazing game over here. Hopefully we don't go down. But it doesn't look like we are. We have the 15 out of the 29 gems available. And we're able to win that game. So that was a really, really good intense game. Um, that one took a while. That was actually a pretty long game. Extremely intense. We're going to do one more game. Hopefully we're able to pick up the victory and go 4-0 on the video. I'm going to go right back to working on that Brawl Ball video. Let's hop into the fourth and final game and let's see what happens. Okay, so here we go into the last game. A very interesting comp over here. A Poco and Double Thrower. So it's going to be super annoying for us. Basically our goal is just going to be to try and snipe this Poco all game, I suppose. Or whoever's in this mid, I guess if the Dino wants to walk in the middle. But we've hit all of our shots so far. We're playing this very well. Uh, we're able to get a kill over here on this guy. We're just gonna jump back, break their walls and their grass so we know exactly where we are or where they are. We're gonna go super aggro here. Again, haven't really missed a shot yet. Going to break this wall as well jump back and just go super aggro on these guys. Their comp really isn't that good, so we're able just to tap them. Really, really interesting comp that they have, to be honest. We're going to break as much as possible. Kenneth BMing in their spawn. They're coming back, trying to be able to get Kenneth, but I don't think they're going to be able to do so. The fact that we have this constant Sandy Storm is really, really overpowered. 
They have no clue where we are. Again, we're just going to continue tapping. We're going to have to jump back here. Oh, no. <laughs> that was pretty funny to watch. So we have five gems. They have four. So it's a little closer than it looked like, but their dynamite is going to die. We're going to have nine now. We're going to just try and three tap this Poco. Maybe not. Okay. If that Poco had uh, that star power that did damage, that actually might have been a problem for us. But fortunately for us, she doesn't. We're able to get that snipe over there on the dynamite. We're just chilling back here, going for the three tap on the Poco. We're able to tap it twice, but it's going to be enough to get the kill. As the Sandy Super is going to do everything else, we're going to pick up the gems over here. We're going to have nine. We're going to wait until we can collect a tenth, though. Okay, we're just, okay, that definitely slipped. That wasn't the distance we were trying to jump, but either way, we're able to get that kill. We're going to chill up here. Spins by Kenneth and by Cute Girl, and that is going to be a very convincing final win. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was definitely super fun making this video where we can just hop on an overpowered brawler on an overpowered map and just play it. But with that being said, I am super excited for this Brawl Ball video to come out. To come out. Anyways, I only did four games. It wasn't a long video because I'm super eager to start working on the Brawl Ball one again. So I'm going to go work on that. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully we have a banger of a video tomorrow. So that's going to be it for today. I will catch you guys later. Peace.